Welcome to WARN, today's news is. Indian Army to induct more extended range Pinyaka rocket launch systems. Adding firepower to its artillery, the Indian Army is looking to induct eight indigenously developed Pinyaka multi barrel rocket launcher systems. The Pinyaka system is designed and developed by two private entities, the Tatas and Larson and Tabro, in association with the Defense Research and Development Organization. DRDO. The Defense Acquisition Council cleared a RFP request for proposal last November for six additional regiments at a cost of 14,633 crore. The Indian Army currently operates two regiments of the Pinyaka, combat proven and used in the Kargil conflict, that can fire up to 12 missiles in 44 seconds. As designers of the systems, LNT, the Tatas and DRDO have planned upgrades to address obsolescence. Interacting with Business Line, Jayant D. Paddle, Senior Vice President and Head, Defense and Aerospace, LNT Heavy Engineering and LNT Shipbuilding, outlines how LNT has helped deliver technologically current systems. Edited excerpts. Could you give us some details about the current status and number of Pinyaka regiments and how many have been inducted? Pinyaka system was developed by the DRDO during early 90s with LNT and Tata Power as development partners for the launch systems. After years of trials and evaluation and subsequent harmonization, this weapon system was cleared for induction in the Indian Army about one and a half decades back. Being an indigenously designed and developed system, the same was technologically brought to the state of the art status and two regiments were produced for the Indian Army. Since two indigenous technological solutions were developed, the Ministry of Defense implemented the recommendations of an empowered committee to source the launchers and fire control systems, command posts, from LNT as well as Tata Power in equal proportion. In November 2016, a contract for two more regiments was placed almost six years after conclusion of negotiations against a June 2010 RFP. LNT has been consistently working on the design, development and upgrades of the Pinyaka. How has the company helped bring in indigenization? LNT was entrusted the responsibility of realization of two multi-barrel rocket launcher systems, MBRLs, based on the concept and base specifications given by the Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE, a DRDO laboratory, but with low-voltage battery back system. The Pinyaka MBRL is designed by LNT as an artillery system that is built for operating in silent mode and is based on all electric low voltage battery back technology developed in house. Pinyaka launchers and command posts have been serially produced by LNT with indigenous content in excess of 80 per center, including the imported inertial navigation sensor. Early this year, the DRDO tested a new version, Pinyaka MKII of the rockets, which can be guided to land on enemy targets. Can you give us some details on the extended range version of the rocket system, and LNT's technical know-how which will boost the armory? The Pinyaka MKII variant has been a joint development by the DRDO in collaboration with the user, Artillery User Directorate, to target a range of 60 km with enhanced terminal accuracy. This is to be achieved by incorporating aerodynamic correction features to modify flight trajectory with the inclusion of INS. Having been the developer of the weapon launch system, LNT has been able to incorporate the necessary changes in the design to accommodate the extended range rocket pod assemblies. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.